Hi there, this is Dr. Quinn, recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on finding integration constant. We're given a function passes through a point 6 and 6, which is a clue, basically. And then we're given that tangent slope to the function is 5x plus 5, which is really saying the derivative is 5x plus 5. We're asked to find a function evaluated for. Well, we can't evaluate it without the function, so we had to find a function. In order to find a function, we had to integrate the function derivative. Okay, so from here, we know that function itself is equal to 5x, because this is 1, squared over 2, plus 5x, plus a constant, I'll call it c. Without this constant, we can't e evaluate f at 4. So we need to find a constant. And how do we find a constant? We're going to use the clue. The function passes through point 6 and 6. That's to say, if x equal to 6, then y is equal to 6, or f of 6 is equal to 6. Let's plug it in there. 6 equal to 5 times 36 divided by 2 plus 5 times 6 plus constant. It's a one variable linear equation. It should be easy to solve. The thing is, I don't trip over myself and make some mistakes. 18 times 5 is 90. So I have a 90 plus 30 plus C. So C is equal to minus 120 minus, uh, let's see, 126, 6, so 120, 114. Okay. Constant. Integration constant is minus 14. So we have the function then defined as fx divided by 2 plus 5x minus 104. Having, having, it's a Saturday, I'm repeating myself. Having arrived at function itself with a constant, integration constant, now we can evaluate it. So it's 5 times 16, we're squared, divided by 2 plus 5 times 4 minus 114. And then this one is 8, so I have a uh, 40 plus 20 here, minus 114. That's a 60. So come back in there, I have a minus 54. Let's make sure. 114 and 60, I'm divide, not dividing, I'm subtracting here, 5. Okay, minus 54. So basically, this question, they're really saying, I'm going to give you some clues. Can you find the function itself by using the clue? And yes, the answer is, of course we can. All right, that's how we handle this problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, trying to make learning math fun. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.